You know, your president, of course, uh, uh, Major General uh, Muhammad Buhari, <laughs> retired but not tired, uh, <laughs> promised, frankly, that uh, the first thing he would do is to make sure that, um, you know, he wipes out Boko Haram. Yes. How far has he gone so far? Uh, well, uh, you may have heard that this morning one of the uh, kidnapped girls was, you know, uh, discovered alive. So he'd been fighting. One thing I know about the general. One it, out of 200. Well, in fact, more than at 200. least he did better than Good Luck, who was there when they were kidnapped. So at least he'd been working intensively. And just last week, uh, he had a regional security meeting and getting other uh, neighboring countries to be secured and so on. First of all, that's another human right, having confidence, sense of confidence. When our girls, our daughters can walk on the street confidently, go to school. I remember in those days, my school take about three, four uh, miles away. I mean, primary school, you have to go and walk home. No parent, no boss taking you or bringing you back from school. So in these days, with the Boko Haram, when our girls cannot come back to school from school safe or our sons from school safe, we need to protect that. And I think the president is doing the best he can to secure the border so that opportunities can actually reach everywhere. And he's doing a very good job, even though he cannot satisfy everyone. Uh, I remember when he came to Washington, D.C., he said they call him Baba Go Slow. He said, well, he assured everyone that he will continue to go slow, but steady. So the man is going slow, but very steady for the good of the country. Maria, um, U.S. allies um, in East Africa, uh, they have been uh, partners in fighting, of course, against Arab Shabaab and all that kind of stuff. And frankly, they seem to be doing a reasonably good job. But what extent uh, have they also, in a way, uh, been turning that policy politically inside their own countries against their legitimate political opponents? Well, I think Uganda is a good example of a country that's, I think, struggled with the balance between human rights protections and the security sector. Um, you know, we've had a lot of concerns about human rights abuses committed by the Ugandan army domestically. I think uh, the U.S. has tried in some cases to do careful vetting, although we would always argue for a better job there. There's a lot of questions around how well uh, evidence of human rights abuses by individuals is gathered and what kind of coherence there is to that policy. Um, you know, I think more and more we're seeing the Ugandan military deployed domestically in, in assemblies and demonstrations. Um, we've seen a lot of tanks on the streets in, in Kampala in the last three or four months. It's a concern that the UPDF plays a very active role in domestic politics and is often there on the front lines of domestic disputes. Very interesting. What, what about that? Um, does that also happen, for example, in uh, some countries in West Africa? Look, Africa problem is, is the same everywhere, regardless of a, a region, west or east and so on. But I think the approach or the methodology that I believe that need to be changed is uh, the neglect of ethnic Africans. We all came here to learn and we are the best resources to effect change in Africa. You know, dealing with the people over there is good, but when we have educated people, we have lawyers, doctors, highly educated people. Take an instance, uh, two weeks ago at uh, Howard University, uh, and how many uh, Af uh, uh, graduates of uh, pharmaceutical doctors, at least 43 are Nigerians, Africans, and these are individuals that are highly learned that we can actually tap into to effect change in our country. In every African country, DRC, problems going over there. We have a lot of uh, diasporans here that we can actually use in order to effect change in those countries. So those are the areas America need to look into very well. The billions or trillions of dollars invested is enough, but right now for us to start making use of the right tools, human powers, to be able to effect change in our communities. Thank you.